Okay. Assalamualaikum everybody. Uh, we are live with Faisal Mahmood, uh, Associate Professor, Alakman University Hospital and uh, Head of Infectious Diseases, also currently frontlining on the COVID-19 pandemic. Assalamualaikum, Dr. Faisal. Assalamualaikum, Ji. How has this morning been for you? Busy, busy. <laughs> Three minutes already. <laughs> So, uh, Faisal, I'm going to dive right into it. I don't want to take much of your time. I know that you are, uh, you know, taking care of so many things. Uh, you were the one who recovered the first COVID patient. And itna kuch aap kar rahe hai, itna kuch on your plate. Hai. Our prayers are with you, your teams, your family members. And uh, we are constantly, constantly thinking of all the healthcare givers and doctors who are at the front line. Um, currently, as of today, um, what what the, the stats are reporting? Five thousand plus cases, eighty six reported deaths, and about thousand plus recovered patients. Uh, we are talking about, in specific to Sindh, um, with Murad Ali Shah mentioning yesterday, CM Murad Ali Shah mentioning yesterday that there has been a twenty percent uh, positive. So cases test twenty percent are coming out positive after the testing, right? With a forty-eight million key population, then what is the current growth chart of the affected infected cases looking like? So that's a really difficult question. Um, you got to keep in mind that when he says twenty percent are positive, uh, that doesn't mean twenty percent of the population is positive. It's twenty percent of all the folks that we tested. Uh, of those twenty percent were positive. Now. This is more a marker of how few people were testing, because if you're testing more people, you would have less positive people showing up. Um, and ideally, we want the testing positivity rate to be low, about 5% or so, which would mean we're testing a whole bunch of people. Um, I think that, that was the point over there. In terms of the growth in the in, in the province, that's a, that's a tough question. And you know, the, the, we use modeling for this. And, and for modeling, um, to try and understand where we're heading, um, it all depends on what sort of data is coming into the model. Um, uh, easily, um, this is simply speaking, and the data that we have is not very good. So we're doing very few testing. So all our models are flawed. Uh, but you know, it's not that we can say that the rates are going to keep going up for sure. Um, that's expected. We have not hit our peak as yet. Um, the the question which I don't have and nobody has the answer to is what is the peak and when is the peak? Um, and that will depend a lot on us. Um, how much social distancing we do? How much? How careful we are? Uh, because really, it is spread from human to human at the end of the day. So, so ye hamare apne hath mein, yeah, like you. you would say. So, is there a specific pandemic response system that the citizens are not yet aware of? Mm -hmm. It depends what they are aware of to begin with. But, um, but yeah, there is. Uh, so, so there is a whole um, system in place, and that includes starting from um, any positive patient um, is put in isolation, either in an isolation facility, the folks around the person are traced um, and they're also tested. Um, and that's done at the, at the local level. Um, at the same time, uh, the federal government has put in a place where uh, you, we use cell phone data to trace where people may have been gone or, or are going um, and try and figure out contacts from there. So some of your listeners may <clears throat> have gotten an SMS saying that you've come in contact with somebody who has COVID. Um, uh, and you may want to be quarantined, and that is how this information is is generated. Um, and then the response, part of response is also uh, making sure that we're ready when the surge comes. Um, and that would mean um, bringing in hospitals um, on board, both uh, private and public, um, making sure okay, we have enough beds, enough ventilators, enough healthcare workers, which is actually, I think, the toughest uh, thing. Um, making sure we have enough tests available, not just tests for COVID, but do say tests also, which these sick patients uh, may need. So, so a lot of this background work uh, keeps happening, um, which you know the public may not um, directly hear about because you know that there's just yeah, and 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 I believe that obviously there is a lot happening at the hospitals uh, currently, and you have your hands full. Um, so, in terms of the shortage of ventilators. The ventilators has been a very hot topic globally, all around the world. And uh, just just as of yesterday, we read that uh, um, a lot of ventilators are going to be repaired. Also, that was the news that was circulating. 
what is our situation in terms of the shortage of wells? So, so at this point in time, like today, I can tell you we don't have a shortage of ventilators for the patients that we have currently coming in. But we also know the numbers are going to go up and, and there is going to be a potential shortage of ventilators. Um, you know, I, I want to change the narrative a little bit um, okay. because it's not, it's not the ventilator itself that is important. That is very important, obviously. But, you know, you also need um, the manpower to run a ventilator. Um, you need uh, the location where you can put a ventilator because that has to be a special location. Patients on ventilator need special medication, which need to be arranged. Um, special uh, labs, which are normally not done, need to be done. So, so, so even though vent we, we talk a lot about ventilators, but there's a lot of other things that need to be put into place um, as well. And, you know, it's almost like buying like 50 cars, but nobody knows how to drive it. Um, so, so, so the, so what we've been telling the government and the government understands is that the, you know, ventilators are definitely part of the equipment that we need to get, but we also need to have enough people trained who can run these ventilators, uh, both nurses and doctors, because these are very difficult technical things to use. Um, they are, um, repairing a bunch of ventilators. Um, uh, there were a bunch of ventilators, which, uh, were not being used, uh, for the very same reason, which they kept getting into. I know there is some about making new ventilators and there's uh, a trial that may be going on for that to see if they can sort of home make a, a ventilator um uh, and then and then obviously the background uh, work of it because a lot of ventilators need special oxygen um to go into it which, okay most hospitals do, don't have so um so so as of now we don't have a ventilator shortage um depending on our surge depending on how the rates go up we may develop a ventilator shortage um remember um our goal here is that we don't have a lot of patients coming at the same time, right? So the what we um, so if everybody shows up today, we will not have enough ventilators. But if everybody shows up um, eventually over four months, then we will have enough because just as people new ventilators will be open. Sorry. And so there, the lockdown is such an important part. Because if other people observe it and they are going to, you know abide by the rules so then you have as and when go to this day, uh, patients are yes but remember lockdown is is just one way of preventing um this this thought ke agar 14 ka lockdown khatam ho jayega ya nahi khatam hoga then we're scot free is is really 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 dangerous um because you know the lockdown is just one way of physically making sure people stay at home but lockdowns can't go on forever um and and covid is here to stay it's not going anywhere. So lockdown ke baad bhi, I think your listeners need to understand that you have to have to do all the things you're currently doing. Don't leave home if you don't if you don't have to. Uh, you know, uh, wear a mask if you're in in a, in a in a public area. Keep your hands clean. You know, um, uh, you know, all of those things go on regardless ke aapka lockdown ho rahe ke. So, matlab hume hume hygiene aur hume sare steps abhi lene hain for a while. Yes. Uh, Faisal, uh, Dr. Faisal, there is, we know that the viral infection was not airborne at one point. At one point, they said that it's not airborne. But then videos started circulating. Even who put up a video that, no, the particles, they stay in the air, the, 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 the moist particles. And uh, our local transmission cases are increasing rapidly. Is there a connection or... No, there's not. So, so I think um, we we need to be careful when when we say airborne. What do we mean? Um, we know okay, when you cough, this will come out, um, and we also know that it does not travel very far when you cough when a normal person coughs. But in some circumstances, this does become airborne, which means that And those circumstances are generally in the hospital in very sick patients, patients on ventilator, patient on a lot of oxygen. So, so, so even now, um, when we're seeing a patient who is in the hospital who's not sick enough to be in the ICU, we don't take airborne precautions, which are separate precautions. Clearly, we use separate masks. We use a simple surgical mask. So, so I don't think, um, and, and, and WHO actually did not come, in, come out and say this. That there was a, um, a, a, a WhatsApp message or messages going around, get WHO saying that it's airborne. And unfortunately, only half the message went through. Uh, WHO was saying it's airborne only in these circumstances, and that only is very important, and that never came through. Yeah, that wo wala part I need. So, uh -huh. is tarah to, you, ye to uh, circulation of so many messages is also spreading uh, fake rumors and false news 
so logon ko bahut ehtiyat se messages follow karne chahiye um which brings me ab ye aapne jaise bola protective ppes kya is waqt aapke paas aapke specialists ke paas aapki team ke paas nurses ke paas proper gear hai available enough proper gear available ye 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 bhi mushkil sawal hai agar se depend karta hai ki aap kahan ki baat kar rahe hain so so ppes ya personal protective equipment so kehte hain that is a, um, uh, the other part of the equation testing ek tha and ppe is the other um and do we have enough um we don't have enough obviously um but we are um getting more that we are looking at places uh, local people who can make ppes um unko uh, we're getting in the very specialized n95 mask hota hai um that unfortunately nobody makes over here currently um or um, that's why jo hamare paas hai usko bacha ke rakh rahe hain uh, we making sure ke uska misuse nahi ho raha um and and pp ka sabse bada masla ye hota hai that these unlike a ventilator are not reusable for the most part so iska matlab hai aapko constant supply ki zarurat hai jo ki chalti rehti hai um ventilator aapne ek le liya to you know 100 patients can use it um uh, uske baad for ever and ever until wo kharab nahi hota so so pp ki kami um hai but Uh, but pp ki kami we are trying to overcome it um i i really feel j- the the places which are which don't get ppe um are not the public hospitals are not the big hospitals um but they're the smaller private hospitals kyunki um you know that the, for, for them agar unko lena hai mask gown wagaira to unko apne paise se leni zarurat padti hai um uh, and you know and these have become very expensive now because wo market mein shop and aapne ek cheez kahi uh, dr faisal about mask now mask ke related there has been a little bit of a confusion because ek uh, ek point pe tha ke mask is not necessary then it was sub mask pehne kaun sa mask pehne so in your uh, expert opinion aam log jo aam agar ghar se bahar nikal rahe hain kisi dukaan mein ja rahe hain gloves ke ilawa kaun sa mask is necessary to wear considering ke wo healthcare worker nahi hai aur wo hospital nahi ja rahe <laughs> yeah very, very difficult question which is which is a big debate hamari uh, id community mein also ke kya general public ko mask pehne ki zarurat hai ke nahi hai um to to kaun sa mask is very simple um aapko kisi fancy mask ki zarurat nahi hai you jo n95 mask ki uski please zarurat nahi hai balki mujhe gussa chalta hai when i see somebody with one of these masks outside because that means that's one ma- one healthcare worker jisko ye mask nahi mila who really needs it um jahan tak kaun sa mask pehne so it also depends aap kahan ja rahe hain अगर आप अपनी गाड़ी में अकेले जा रहे हैं फ्रॉम वन प्लेस टू दी अदर देन इन द कार यू ऑब्वियसली डोंट नीड अ मास्क बिकॉज़ यू नॉट इन कांटेक्ट विद एनीबॉडी अगर आप दुकान में जा रहे हैं जहां पे बहुत सारे लोग होंगे थोड़ा सा झमगट्टा होगा तो इट मे बी बेटर टू वेयर अ मास्क एट दैट पॉइंट ग्लव्स की जरूरत नहीं है आपको एक्चुअली जस्ट कीपिंग इट एज क्लीन विद ग्लोबी हैंड सैनिटाइजर इज मोर देन इनफ यू डोंट हैव टू कंटीन्यूअसली वेयर ग्लव्स बिकॉज़ यू नो द वायर्स कैन गो थ्रू द ग्लव्स आल्सो एंड यू नो योर ग्लव्स गेट कंटैमिनेटेड मास्क के साथ एक बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट चीज ये है कि रिमेंबर मास्क का जो बाहर का हिस्सा है वो गंदा है दैट्स कंटैमिनेटेड तो अगर आपने मास्क पहना हुआ है और उसका ऊपर नीचे आप कर रहे हैं तो आपके आप अपने हाथ को गंदे कर रहे हैं एंड वही हाथ अगर आपने अपने आंखों को रब कर दिया तो आपको लग जाएगा सो इट्स नॉट कैन मास्क पहने एंड यू सेफ इट्स द करेक्ट यूज ऑफ द मास्क व्हिच मींस एक दफा आपने चढ़ा लिया मास्क तो फिर उसको छुए मत डोंट फिडल विद इट इफ यू टच इट यू हैव टू कीप योर हैंड्स क्लीन बिकॉज़ अब ये मास्क गंदा हो गया um pretty much so so uh, and comes and with a cotton mask works well work well agar aapka surgical nahi hai aap ek hujum mein ja rahe hain to you might as well just wear a mask should you wear it all the time um everywhere with everybody ye bahut mushkil sawal hai um and i'm going to um probably maybe answer this in a, in a, in a in a few days once i get more data uh, myself i don't want to commit to anything right now thank you thank you um uh, so hum we have been in lockdown since march 21st uh, i know ke is well government is working rapidly around what is going to happen next aaj bahut bada debate hai what is going to happen next right because 14 to the 19 ka ek relaxed ka order suna tha humne ke hoga um in in your opinion what um, safety precautions like you said ke haath dhoye but what safety precautions are you telling the general public to take are we are we thinking of sorry go ahead no no go on go on so are we uh, are you going to be emphasizing ke log apne jaise gharon mein rehe jaise aapne bataya ke stay in your houses you know uh, do not do un matlab ke jo agar aapka important kaam nahi hai to mat uske andar indulge kare 
Is that what we are sticking to? Yes. So, so the lockdown essentially is a forcible way of making people stay at home. Um, so, वो तो अपनी जगह है. मगर जब भी लॉकडाउन खत्म होगा, the lockdown can't be there forever. अगर आपने पांच दिन और बढ़ा दिया उसको, then पांच दिन बाद तो relaxation देनी देनी है. You know, there's no way कि आप इसको मुस्तकिल, you know, चलाएं for months and months because um, of all the unintended consequences जो लॉकडाउन के साथ होते हैं um, at the same time. But जो चीजें your your listeners need to understand is that lockdown does not खत्म होना या ease होने का ये मतलब नहीं कि now things are back to normal. Things are not not back to normal. Um, even after the lockdown is finished, to protect yourself and to protect others, stay at home. Um, बाहर ना निकले अगर आपको निकलने की जरूरत नहीं है. You know, limit your activities outside as much as you you, you can. जब बाहर जाएं तो you know वो मास्क की बात हो गई है. Keep your hands as clean as possible um, uh, if you can. But the thing is, uh, finishing the lockdown does not mean that you stop your social distancing, staying away from people as much as you can. You know, yet the things are still going on, and they need to continue. And uh, one of the other things, your social distancing, uh, um, there was Netherlands who had started to, they are going to do herd immunity. And much much later on, in the in just the same week, they did a lockdown and told their residents to stay inside. In a in a country like Pakistan or in a province like Sindh, what are your opinions on herd immunity? All right, so herd immunity is something which will happen anyways. You know, so herd immunity का मतलब simple मतलब ही होता है कि जब आपकी seventy percent of the population को infection हो चुका होता है, तो उनको अभी से दोबारा तो forum तो नहीं होगा. तो अगर first करें आपके एक कमरे में सात लोग हैं जिनको infection हो चुका है, तीनों को नहीं हुआ है, तो उन तीन को लगने के chances बहुत कम हो जाते हैं because virus उन सात लोगों को नहीं है दैट्स हर्ड इम्यूनिटी बॉटम लाइन ऑन द अदर हैंड अगर दस लोग कमरे के अंदर हैं और और तीन लोगों को है और बाकी जो सात हैं देश सेप्टेबल उनको लग सकता है सो दैट द वायरस विल स्प्रेड सो हर्ड इम्यूनिटी इवेंचुअली इन हो जाएगी इस इंफेक्शन का द द पॉइंट इज के इफ यू रिलाई ऑन ओनली हर्ड इम्यूनिटी एंड इसका मतलब है आप कुछ भी ना करो आप बोलो सबको लगे ये इंफेक्शन तो हो गई है कि आपके एकदम से इतने सारे लोग बीमार हो जाएंगे कि योर हॉस्पिटल्स विल नॉट बी एबल टू कोप and during the short period of time aapke itne saare log mar jayenge um that you know you will not be able uh, that, that that you know you will eventually reach herd immunity aap bahut jaldi ek aise level pe aa jayenge ki kam logon ko lag raha hai magar to get there you will kill a lot of people and that's why um uh, you know we don't say ki we use herd immunity as a way to prevent um i think herd immunity will happen and and generally we say it takes a year or two before you get herd immunity uh, but but for now um uh, no no herd immunity um you've already mentioned ke uh, once infected uh, it is unlikely to the patient will uh, uh, get covid again uh, corona virus ko dobara lagega lekin uh, in in terms abhi jo aapke paas patients rahe hain how long has uh, the virus lasted and how long have they the contagious period kitna lamba la, chalta hai so the contagious period can go on for about uh, a few uh, days actually so almost even 14 days um uh, sometimes in some cases so um and and even longer so that's why we always check to see if uh, we can um, we we always check and we make sure that somebody just go virus hai we will uh, recheck the swab to make sure ke wo um uh, negative way kind of okay i know i know your battery is dying sir <laughs> and so you have got it fixed thank you um um one of the stats that i was looking into um was that men are more susceptible to coronavirus yes so men are not more susceptible to coronavirus men are more susceptible to getting a severe disease with coronavirus um essentially so uh, so both men and women will get the infection but men tend to do worse when they get this infection okay so they they pro- probably the infected men mostly don't survive is that what we're saying no no it's not that infected men all die uh, but the the chance of a more severe infection is with uh, with, with men and 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 we know this uh, women tend to have better immunity than men generally speaking um which is uh which is a trade off uh, really and this is not for just corona but for all infections and the trade off is that this is the reason why women tend to have more autoimmune diseases uh, also 
because um, because that's when the immunity starts attacking their own body. So you know, immunity is a very very uh, fine sort of a, a balance you have to maintain. बहुत ज़्यादा भी बुरा होता है, बहुत कम भी बुरा होता है. But generally, for infections, men tend to um, um, you know men have a slightly high mortality because their immune system is slightly weaker. Women um, have a strong immunity, but that means in the long run they get more immune mediated diseases. So it's it's. Now, now uh, we know that coronavirus can happen to any age, any gender, zero to hundred. It doesn't matter. Um, is there any kind of uh, immunity building things that people can do? Because there are a lot of myths going on. That if you do this, you won't get sick. If you do this, you will die. So we're talking in terms of myth busters right now. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, so remember, um, just exactly what I said. Um, it's you don't want to increase your immunity, right? Because increasing immunity also has its consequences. Um, you want to balance your immunity. You don't want it too strong, and you don't want it too weak. Uh, too strong immunity will actually hurt you. Okay. We know COVID. Can there a lot of um, uh, the 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 issues we see with the uh, with the lungs being uh, affected is actually the immunity trying to kill the virus and uh, attacking the lungs um, uh, itself. So, so really, um, the only three things which will improve your immunity or will balance your immunity is number one, having a healthy diet, right? So, so that means uh, lots of fruits and vegetables, making sure your diet has protein, hai, um, avoiding processed foods. So that would be, you know, maida, uh, simple chini, um, that sort of things. The other thing is, um, and it's I know it's very boring, but um, at least seven hours of sleep um, at night. So not accumulative sleep of seven hours, like subah the pair, sorry the pair or rat milake, but A complete seven hour, and this we know does improve the uh, make the immunity better, and then exercise. Um, uh, so, so these are the three proven things which will actually um, make your immune system more balanced and and better. Um, there's no superfood. There's no particular khana jo khayenge jo ab better ho jayenge. No vitamins will help. Um, but the vitamins you get from natural sources are much better than the chemicals that you would be popping in your body. Who we don't know if they're going to be helpful or harmful. Um, and this brings me to the uh, uh, one of the things that we अभी हम लोग address कर रहे हैं to a special needs platform जहाँ पे बहुत सारे specially able बच्चे हैं and a lot of them suffer from upper respiratory conditions. At this point in time, our own parents या उन individuals को क्या बोलेंगे कि जिन जो who have chronic condition of the upper respiratory to protect themselves. So, so remember, the, the only way to get this virus is from another person, right? Um, either directly or indirectly. So, if you touch, uh, if the other person touches something, um, uh, and then you know the the other person, you know the, and, and you touch that surface, you can potentially get the virus uh, through your nose or your through your eyes or through your mouth. So, so if you have somebody who is at particular risk of having an infection, उनके already lungs weak हैं किसी वजह से, so so better है कि again उनके अंदर you take extra precaution. के वो कम लोगों से मिले सम पीपल से दैट यू हैव ग्रीन एरियाज इन योर हाउस एरियाज वेर यू हैव एल्डरली या यू हैव पीपल विद यू नो वी कम्युनिटी जहाँ पे यू नो जो लोग बाहर से आ रहे हैं वो उस एरिया में कम से कम जाए सो दो लाइक ग्रीन एरियाज यू कैन सेट अप सो यू नो कुछ कम रहे जहाँ पे यू नो यू से बोले ज्यादा इधर ही रहें ज्यादा बाहर ना घूमें um similarly it try to avoid going out as much as possible uh, as possible um agar aap park mein ja rahe hain for example to stay away from as the people you know um six feet at least um you can put a mask for what it's worth keep the hands clean um uh, and and these sort of uh, very simple social distancing things is what's going to help you um so one of the last questions that i have for you dr faisal is that uh, there has been a lot of debate about the bcg vaccine and how it might be slowing the rate of the virus spread in the subcontinent what are your thoughts about this <laughs> I, 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 i don't have any thoughts are we immune to uh, corona because hame wo bcg vaccine laga hai no no so 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 clearly i mean definitely the spread of the virus is slightly slower um over here but you know the thing is the growth tends to be exponential iska matlab hai shuru mein kam ho phir badhta rahega badhta rahega badhta rahega and i think it's really early days to sort of say ke there a vaccine that we get um that we have may have gotten make a difference uh, or not um remember vaccine ka effect wanes as you grow older so you know as you grow older we really think the bcg vaccine is no longer active um in you and then finally the bcg vaccine is acting on a separate part of the immune system and not the same part which the which the virus does 
And then finally, Aksar, um, uh, and this is a very um, uh, common thing we say in medicine, that correlation is not causality. So if you find a connection, it does not mean that is the, the, the relation to it. And a very um, uh, classic example that we give and we teach statistics is that, you know, if you do a study, you will find that uh, coffee is associated with lung cancer. And the reason is not that coffee is causing the lung cancer. It is that people who drink coffee are often smokers as well. Um, so, so if there's a correlation, it doesn't mean that it is the, the, the it is no causality. So, 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 so the answer is um, I don't know. Um, probably not. But just based on 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 just cause co correlation studies, you can't say that. Um, and again, uh, lastly, has the lack of availability of testing kits resulted in false number of total reported cases? Well, yeah, of course. So, and this is a problem um, everywhere, even in the in the U.S. and in Italy, where um, you know, because if you don't, if you're not testing enough people, you can't diagnose the, the infection. And it's bimani ka sabse achhi baat and sabse buri baat ek hi hai it causes a very mild disease, bahut halki bolke bimari hoti, which means that most people will have thoda sa bukhar, a little bit of a of, of you know um, uh, body aches, three four days they're fine, and they never knew they had this infection. So, you know, for us doctors to catch them is very difficult. You know, I, we can't test everybody who has a little bit of a fever. Um, ideally, we should. So, uh, so there may be a lot of people out there, uh, and no, there are there are a lot of people out there um, who have the infection who hum test ni kar pare, um, uh, and and hence the overall numbers are unreported. Now, keep in mind that we do whenever we're doing calculations in terms of our kya, kya capacity ni chahiye, kya modeling ni chahiye, so we keep this in account. So, you know, we, we know, for example, that 5% only, yeah, 1% of people will go on the vent. So every for every person on the ventilator, we assume that there are probably 100 more people in the community. So we, we, we look at these things when we're doing the modeling. Um, uh, so even though the numbers may not be coming up in in, in the in, in sort of the press releases, um, when we're doing the calculations, when we're doing the capacity, we always look at these things. Um, and we know that day before was a very sad day for the United States because they had almost 2,000 plus deaths in one day. And our people need need to listen to these news and listen to the stats coming in from around the world and pay attention. Um, lastly, we have seen so many awareness videos of yours trying to educate the masses, the population. We SNP also videos uh, lastly, what message would you like to give to everybody who's tuned in and who's going to be listening to this video, Dr. Pesad? So I think it's the same message I've given thrice already, I think, which is please, please, please maintain social distancing. Um, uh, don't go out if you don't need to. Stay home um, as much as you can. Stay away from um, other people who may be sick um, or people in general because you may not know who has the, the virus. You may The person with the virus may not have any symptoms. Um, keep your hands clean. Don't touch your nose. Don't touch your mouth. Don't touch your eyes. Um, uh, and and that's it. Just stay safe. Thank you so much, Dr. Faisal, for such a calming interview. Um, <laughs> we are hoping for all the healthcare uh, workers, doctors, your family. Please stay safe. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good afternoon. Afes. That was Dr. Faisal uh, taking out some time for us. And, uh, you know, it was so good to explain it. It was so brilliant to tell you that please, there are some steps, there are some steps, there are some steps, that we will come out of this disease. It will be better for us. तो हम कोशिश कर सकते हैं कि हम इन स्टेप्स के ऊपर काम करें और एहतियात करें हाथ धोएं हाइजीन अपनी अच्छी रखें हाइजीन ऑन टॉप रखें और हम सुने हम सुने कि हमारी अगर आप पंजाब में हैं अगर आप बलूचिस्तान में हैं अगर आप सिंध में हैं जो भी आपके सुबह की रिक्वायरमेंट्स हैं जो भी आपके सीएम ने या आपके गवर्नमेंट ने जो क्वालिटी एंड डिजीज कंट्रोल स्टेप्स लिए हैं उनको आप फॉलो कीजिए सोशल डिस्टेंसिंग को माइंड में रखें एंड देखिए बहुत सारे लिसनर्स ट्यून्ड हैं हैं जो कॉलोनीज में रहते हैं जो मोहल्लों में रहते हैं जहां पे एक कमरे में दस दस लोग हैं लेकिन अगर वो ही दस लोग एक जगह पे रहें तो कहना बहुत मुश्किल है 
करना बहुत मुश्किल है लेकिन इस वक्त हमें दिल पे पत्थर रख के ये करना पड़ेगा अगर आप चाहते हैं कि आप इस वबा से बचे रहें अगर आप ये वबा फैलाए ना तो हमें ये स्टेप्स लेने पड़ेंगे एंड दिस एंड दिस मीन्स के ऑल दोज पीपल हु आर लिसनिंग जिन जो जिनके घर में लोग काम करते हैं uh, जो अपनी कॉलोनीज छोड़ के इस वक्त नहीं आ सकते या उनको आना नहीं चाहिए प्लीज उनको अगर आप कॉम्पनसेट कर सकते हैं कॉम्पनसेट करें ताकि वो अपने घरों में से ना निकलें बिला वजह ना निकलें किसी जरूरी काम आ, कोई ऐसा जरूरी काम नहीं हो सकता सिवाय अगर आप राशन लेने जा रहे हैं अगर आप दवाई लेने जा रहे हैं तो अपने प्रॉपर केयर रखें घर से बाहर जाएं वापस अंदर आए तो कपड़े रिमूव करें और हाथ धोएं या नहाए तो ये बहुत बेसिक स्टेप्स हैं बेसिक हाइजीन है जूते जूते घरों से बाहर रखें क्योंकि हमारे जो जूते होते हैं उनमें मैक्सिमम नंबर ऑफ जरासीम उनमें आते हैं तो प्लीज 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 जो स्टेप्स डॉक्टर फैसल ने बताए उन पे अमल कीजिए अपने आप को बचाएं अपने घर वालों को बचाएं और सेफ रहें इस नोट पे आई वुड लाइक टू एंड द सेशन बट बिफोर आई एंड द सेशन जो हमारे व्यूअर्स ऑब्जर्व कर रहे हैं एंड सेलिब्रेट कर रहे हैं अपने घरों में हैप्पी uh, ईस्टर ईस्टर uh, का दिन है एंड आई नो के बहुत सारे लोग घरों से मैथ सुनेंगे घरों से मैथ देखेंगे टीवी पे um, तो uh, हमारे बहुत बहुत uh, मुबारक उनको थैंक यू फॉर स्टेइंग एट होम एंड दोज पीपल जो अभी तक नहीं इस पे अमल कर रहे प्लीज घर पे रहिए ये uh, आपसे दरख्वास्त है फ्रंट लाइन डॉक्टर की जो आपके लिए अपने घरे अपने घरों को अपनी फैमिलीज को छोड़ के जा रहे हैं जैसे उन्होंने कहा कि इतने प्रोफेशनल्स नहीं हैं जो वेंटिलेटर्स चला सके तो ये बहुत एक बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट बात है कि अगर वेंटिलेटर्स होंगे लेकिन उनको चलाने वाले नहीं होंगे तो वेंटिलेटर्स पे लोगों को वो किस तरह डालेंगे सो so प्लीज आज का दिन ले थिंक अबाउट इट थिंक अबाउट ऑल दीज थिंग्स प्रे फॉर द डॉक्टर्स जो हमारी वजह से हमारी सेफ्टी के लिए ये काम कर रहे हैं अपने घरों को छोड़ के जा रहे हैं अपनी फैमिलीज को छोड़ के जा रहे हैं एंड नॉट जस्ट डॉक्टर्स आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट पुलिस मैन आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट स्ट्रीट वर्कर्स आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट ऑल काइंड ऑफ पीपल जो पब्लिक की सर्विस कर रहे हैं इस वक्त उनको इज्जत दें उनको प्यार दें और उनके लिए दुआएं करें Thank you so much for tuning in, and once again, thank you so much, Dr. Faisal, जिन्होंने हमारे लिए अपना precious time निकाला. Um, I can't say uh, much, but uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. For the office, and uh, tomorrow we will be having uh, uh, a magic Monday, जिसे मैं कहना चाहूँगी. Spirits down है, लेकिन कल का दिन we have uh, BCBA uh, behavioral therapist Arisa Chinoy at 12:30 वो हमारी बहुत सारी बिहेवियरल इश्यूज की बातें कर रही एंड मेरा इतना ज्यादा फोकस क्यों है बिहेवियर पे बिकॉज बहुत सारे पेरेंट्स इस वक्त जो टेलीथेरेपी नहीं कर पा रहे दे आर चिल्ड्रन आर एक्सपीरियंसिंग बिहेवियरल इश्यूज एंड उनको टैकल करना उनको समझना इस वक्त हमारा काम है सो थैंक यू अरिसा इज गोन बी ज्वाइनिंग अस एंड साढ़े पांच बजे आई हैव अ वेरी वेरी स्पेशल गेस्ट यूजली uh, तो उनको अमान की अम्मी से रेफर किया जाता है उनका नाम है सायरा मुबीन वो हमारे साथ होंगी साढ़े पाँच बजे एंड um, हम बहुत सारी बातें करेंगे हम बच्चों की बातें करेंगे हम ग्रीफ की बातें करेंगे एंड डज लाइफ एवर गेट बैक टू नॉर्मल आफ्टर लूजिंग अ चाइल्ड सो ट्यून इन मैजिक मंडे सी यू ऑल टूमोरो खुदाफिस